Toastmaster Ayush, urgent versus important. Urgent versus important, Toastmaster Ayush. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters. How many of you agree that urgent matters are really important and important matters are really urgent? Can I have a show of hands? Well, this is a famous quote by the most productive US president, D. Eisenhower. Well, I do not have a very, I would say, well, a connection with time throughout my life. Just being a mediocre person myself, I was really aware that I wasn't utilizing the time. I wasn't using the time, but time was using me. It was one fine morning in my office and I was going through my email and my boss stands by my side and asked, Ayush, what happened to the project that we discussed a week ago? You said that you'll be sending me a draft shortly, but it's been three weeks now, you never turned back to me. I was on my feet at that point of time and I started giving excuses like any one of us would do. I said, I said, please stop giving excuses. You know what? Work expand itself to the time you give it to, to the time you give it. Means you, as long as you want to stress the work, it will be there. I started giving me lectures on time management, setting up priorities. Well, after listening to this, I completed the work the very same day and gave it back to him. He said, look, this is what I had told you today. The more you, you give time to the work, the more it will take. The lesser the time you take to complete it, it will, it will take. It will take. It will take less time. So that's the rule and that's, that's, the, that's the Parkinson's law. And he reviewed the work and send the back work to me. I again sat on this work for a week. And he realized that how unorganized I am and how bad I'm at, at setting my priorities. And next morning, I had an email in my inbox which says, you have been assigned a new e-learning course, which says time management matrix. I was totally furious after seeing this mail that what is guys trying to teach me? Is it trying to teach me time management now? Because I was going bonkers after looking at this. But that was the day, and today is the day, I realized that training has changed the way I used to think and plan my work. I'll be sharing my learning, which I've learned from the Eisenhower time management matrix, which, which, is, which was made popular by the book, Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. The matrix distinguishes between the quadrant of important versus urgent. If you see on the x-axis, we have two quadrants, which is urgent and not urgent. And on the y-axis, you see the quadrant, which is important versus not important. We'll talk about the quadrants. I'll walk you through the quadrants one by one and share my learning with you. So when you talk about important responsibilities, there are the responsibilities which contribute to achievement to your goals. And urgent responsibilities are those responsibilities which is linked to your near, near time goals. And this needs, needs your immediate attention. If you do not do it, this will have serious consequences on the, on the work that you do. So on the very first quadrant, which says urgent versus important in the quadrant one, such type of work which are a business meeting, any emergency, any urgent important phone call, any, any medical emergency that comes up, that all comes under quadrant one. So you need to prioritize what comes under urgent versus important for yourself. The second most important quadrant is quadrant two, which is not urgent, but important. So the work such as which we have uh, long-term goals there that will help us in the long run. Suppose your health, your personal development, your, ex your exercise, your financials, and so you, you have to set time for such tasks where you can go and, and plan your work so that you, ha you have uh, uh, make something for your self-development. The third quadrant is 
not important but it is urgent we call this task as as delegation because the, the task which comes under this category is unimportant phone calls unimportant emails unimportant meeting where you are not required you, you can delegate such task and get away of such of such situation so that's you need to realize with what comes under your important and what comes or what uh, urgent so that's it quadrant 3 the quadrant 4 uh, is everyone's favorite we should avoid it it's cause a time wasters that's every we do every day watching uh, netflix surfing internet uh, watching instagram reels uh, talking to um, to friends for a long time on phone so there are some activities which we should be limiting it or avoiding it as much as we can well dear friends i must say that this all this uh, quadrants will will definitely help you in the long run if you if you plan your time accordingly and this will help you in the running your professional and personal life as well being a toastmaster i can say if i was not doing this quadrant two activity today i would have been definitely doing something from quadrant 4 or quadrant 3 and if we do this quadrant 2 activity for a longer time i can say i from my experience that this will definitely help you eliminate some of the activities from quadrant 1 and quadrant 4 the choice is yours i would request everyone to the train has not left the station yet if we still have time go ahead and explore this time management matrix and it has given me wonderful results i hope it will give you too over to you modi thank you